Grind, rise, and grind, rising. Rise and grind. Grind and rise. I'm hoping everybody slept well last night. I do. Despite the many odds against you, no weapons formed a pro uh, no weapons formed against you shall prosper. It feel like you getting whooped on right now because I was about to say they prospering. Somebody got a bunch of stumbling blocks. The G said every step you take, you getting knocked back. Every step you take, you get knocked back, regardless of how much effort you put in or how little effort you put in. It's like you can't connect. You paying attention to your intuition, the G said. That's the byproduct that contains the most power. That's the main ingredient. However, it's naysayers. Naysayers and haters and folks side eyeing you. It's this energy around you, the G said, where folk preying on your emotions for one. Because I feel as though you're not in the position to really put put your plans in motion because you don't have the means to do so. And you have people in your energy who who can, you know, help you get started, get this project lifted off the ground, whatever it may be. And they looking, smiling, and talking about you while giving you this false encouragement, the G said. Check your circle. Everybody don't want to see us do good. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. And and somebody is throwing all sorts of negative energy towards one of my subscribers. Some of my subscribers, the G said. We got to stay prayed up. Today going to be a good day regardless if it's a learning curve, we're going to get this lesson so we don't have to bump our head any longer. No, won't be no repetitive motions and ending up with the same results. Mm -mm. We are going to make sure that we sidestepping the bullshit. My G says, stay encouraged. You almost to the finish line. It ain't the end of the world. I'm talking to somebody who is surrounded around negative energy. You work third shift. My G says you need some concentrated sleep. Increase your H2O intake as well. Mm -hmm. Kelly. I see an A. A S, I see temporary, I see a B. Yeah, you got some negative energy around you. Somebody is also thinking about going back to school, a higher learning course. You want to study something. You want to study something that you said. They said, that's good looking. That's that's good looking because that's going to bulldoze some of these roadblocks, they said. Yeah, that might be a message for me too, shoot. It most definitely is a message for me too, shoot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm speaking to someone who is working third shift. One of my queens, the G says, stay encouraged, sweetheart. Stay encouraged. This negative energy, we have to dispel this negative energy because if it's around us, it's seeping through us. 444 four, four on the clock. Your angels around you, encouraging you. Yeah, trying to trip up the opposition, really. 
that's what they doing because you not confronting them. You not confronting the, uh, the opposition, they said. Because you're not happy. She said, it's still some lessons to be learned with this person. I got I got earth and air in front of me. It's a love situation. You're not paying attention to how much negativity it is around you, the G said. You evaluating it though. You've been scanning your perimeter. <clears throat> You kind of like going over shit with a fine tooth comb. You're not happy, the G said. You about ready to bring the gavel down. He said you done been like a private investigator. You've been figuring you out. You've been figuring you out and you, you, you trying to see through this fog because this negativity is thick, the G said, but you... You're not really complaining about it. You have adapted. Something happened. Something happened. That you peeped. The G said. Something you peeped. You was like a secret service agent, as I said. And you I feel like you went through your significant other's phone because I see text messages and I feel like you were examining these text messages, Queen. Um, put you in a fucked up ass energy what you, what you read, what you uncovered. You're like, what is this bullshit? These shenanigans, this is the type of shit that I'm not on. It's the energy I feel. This is the energy I feel right now. Yeah, this is the shit that then crept up and left a sour taste in my mouth. I knew we weren't on the same page. I knew you couldn't hold up your end of the bargain. But why? why am I still here? Why am I still here? I, I, oh, temporary. Temporary. That was a temporary step out. <laughs> I won't do it again, the G said. You better recognize, analyze, and realize that shit has failed around you because somebody is not true. They not true. They haven't been upfront and honest in this relationship. They allowing somebody to step on your toes. Actually, they stepping on your toes with them. Because they, they dealing with somebody who know about you. That's what the G said. Who know about you. Who feel like they about to profit. Feel like they about to profit. I feel as though... Uh, this 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 new energy is supervising these 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 stab wounds because you getting daggers behind closed doors. They done confided in this person about you. They know everything that's going on up under your house, up under your roof. The G said that's a violation. That's a violation. You've had some advice. Not only have you had some advice, you started listening to your intuition. I'm sick of these butterflies now. I want y'all to stop moving. Get on up out my belly. Let, let me get to investigating so I can quiet this storm that is beginning to churn in my belly. My G said that was spirit. Recognize, analyze, and realize that it's spirit. When you feel like that, go with whatever thoughts you got. They said nine times out of ten, it's the right one. Look at those eyes. I want you to trust your feelings. Don't go with the flow. Something does need to be confronted. Something does need to be confronted. I have someone who may be dealing with an Aries as well. 
something going on that y'all are peeping on Flexbook or IG, somebody's social media. Reading those comments and those messages and, and energies that somebody was in your inbox. I feel like this, this fire sign was in your inbox. Or it will be in your inbox. They want to bring some sort of closure. They do. They want to bring some closure. I don't feel as though somebody received closure from something that ended in their past. The G said, get get ready because you're going to get that closure. You're going to have a meeting of the minds um, with someone. But they're scared to talk to you right now. Said so they're acting a little immature. Um, I feel as though you were a little bit intimidating um, to this Sagittarius. Uh, so, fire sign want to come at an air sign, a Libra. And right now you dealing with a earth sign. Don't have to be a earth sign or water sign. You looked at as an option, the G's want you to know. You looked at as reliable in your current status, a backup, the support. The G said it was something like a um a contract. It feel it felt like it was a contractual agreement, but somebody ain't read the fine lines. Um prescriptions was needed for you to goddamn uh turn turn this person over like a bottle and read their side effects. You have made some profound discoveries. The G said, my air sign, my Libra, my Gemini, you, you have found some shit out and it's been favorable. It's somewhat satisfactory too because it changed the character. It puts you in a different energy, the G said, but you're still indecisive. You're still indecisive about what your next move should be. Um, you're looking at your family. My G said your family looking at you too. The ones who are closely involved with you, they looking at you too. I'm feeling like your current relationship status has caused a bunch of family issues. The G said change is good though. Change is good, and I feel like it's about to be a vacation. Somebody about to humble themselves and confront their situation. Because there's too many secrets. There's too many things hidden. You're feeling as though you're not going to be able to grow at the rate that you intend to being stuck in this um, relationship. I got a Pisces feeling that way too. Yeah, I got a Pisces feeling that way too, y'all. The G's won't. The G's want y'all to know old ways. Don't open new doors. Gotta find a new approach. Trying to do. You you're trying to go about life the way you you did in the past, and and you can't do that for one because this matrix has changed considerably it's a lot of conscious folk walking around here now um we have a a government who is dangling carrots in front of our noses like we are jackasses um yeah so we got a lot on our shoulders that make you want to go to guerrilla tactics but the g said just how the world is changing you, my spiritual being, <laughs> you got to evolve too, and you're going to need space to do that. You're going to need space to humble yourself. Yeah, they said make somebody miss you. Create some space. Make them miss you. Make them humble themselves. You, you got to teach a motherfucker how to treat you. They said... um, School should be in now because this person currently needs a refresher course. What else? 
Yeah. That's what that's what they're saying, Gemini. Labor Aquarius. They're saying this person needs a um a refresher course. You need to spring into action. Um religious factors may affect uh relationship as well is what I heard. Yeah. I'm talking to her Aquarius, a Libra or a Gemini. And I have a Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn out here. I got Aries. Yeah. This summer, I feel as though there's going to be some ties broken. Yeah, Capricorn just fell out. Um... All these seductive relationships, these relationships that feels kismet, um, where y'all experiencing pleasure and pain, the G said, the jig is up. I said, we, we got too many conscious kings and queens out here. Some, it's a lot of us waking up and we are connecting ourselves with most high and our heavenly father has bestowed these gifts from birth it's been our birthright just take different situations life circumstances it's divine timing for you to go within and grab those treasures and and and, and make them work for you i feel like it's been a lot of grief it's been a lot of grief, and 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 folk then then stepped aside. Not only did this dang on government make us go in hermit mode, but we went in hermit mode just cause because the energy was off everywhere. It's like I need to weed my garden. Folk them weed their gardens religiously, and family values are up. Now everybody ain't going by. What 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 Granny and and, and Papa and, and Mama and Daddy instilled in us? We we took some of those and we we you know we we did a little fine tuning because you you know how long ago that was when we were youths, but we making it work, walking in our true authenticity, a, a trying to, but you got these energies around you, right? Who don't want to see you shine. You, somebody you're shining now realize it right that's why everybody paying attention to you and staring at you you got this glow about you you see you're handsome you're pretty i mean you're pretty you know what i'm saying you got this glow about you yeah they can see that you've been working on yourself when we work on ourselves we vibe differently you feel me and we attract people on that same wavelength but we also attract those negative energies because they be trying to dim out our light, trying to derail our plans because, God damn it, how you get here? How you get here with all the goddamn shit I throw at you? And a lot of people throw this negativity purposely, my G said. Mm -hmm. People don't be, they just fold, fold dark. And they don't even know how dark they are until they, they, they find out that everything about them stink, even their body. Everything about them stink. Wake up. <coughs> <coughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. Some folk in your energy wake up, won't brush their teeth, won't wash their ass, or get the eye boogers out, take a shit, and, and leave straight out the door. What in the fuck part of the game is that? Psych. Mm-mm. Yeah, um, I feel like you need some work-life balance, too. You need to take care to get your rest. You're working that third shift, the G said. Um, what else, y'all? Please and thank you. The G's recognizing how loyal you've been. 
you're trying to walk in love and honesty. You, you, you being faithful. You're trying to be true. You're trying to walk in truth. So you, so you, you can sidestep any karmic situations and they recognized it, right? They did. They, they recognized it. That's why they, 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 they sending you these synchronized events. The G said, it's a lot that goes on around you that you are able to connect the dots. Like, Oh, thank you. Most high. Thank you. Angels. Thank you. Ancestors. And you giving thanks. Yeah. Continue to do that. I feel like you got some money coming up in your path too. A lot of y'all got some money coming. That's what's up. You play the number, you gambling, your money going to be up from that. They gifting you with that. You hear me? They say they gifting you with something. And it's this strong ass discovery. They gifting you with that too. They want you to handle everything calmly though. Handle everything calmly. They said this newfound Jew. They want you to they want you to stand on that solid foundation that you had created for yourself. They want you to honor you. Stay true to you. Don't get up out your hookup, they said. Don't get up out your hookup, they said. I got a, a earth sign right now my Jesus is speaking to, and they saying don't go there. Somebody is trying to get in your energy, get back in your energy, and the G said this person is a sycophant. This person is a sycophant. They out having little threesomes and orgies and shit. Yeah. That's what the G said. They said, heck you no. Know, why even go there? No, don't even go there. All is will to take that next step. People can't be trusted. They want you to use your, your third eye. Hey, y'all, they want you to use your third eye. They want you to hone in on that intuitive gut instinct. Those intuitive messages and nudges, they want you to pay attention to it because it's some toxic, narcissistic, negative energy around y'all, and they want y'all to dispel it at once. They want you to remove it. Not now, but right now. Right now, they said ain't no better time than the present because it's too much being blocked. It's too much being blocked. They want you further on down the road. It's it's, it's a lot being blocked with this petty energy in, in, in the personal lives and at work. Keep your antennas up, y'all. See you.